Welcome to Streamlit. I'm going to show you how to quickly load, explore, and interact with models and data. Just open whatever you ID you want, here I'm using Atom, and import Streamlit. Now I'm going to run the report, and it will open a browser window for me to visualize my code. I add a title, save, and click Always Rerun to start live coding. Streamlit is scanning my file for changes and will refresh when I save. Let me type a little code here to show you Streamlit's execution model and how we handle state. Streamlit code runs from top to bottom, and it's always executing from a clean state. That means that you never have to worry about hidden or inconsistent state. Whenever you change a variable, it updates perfectly. So that's great. But what if you're doing some expensive computation that you want to reuse over and over? Here we're going to load in a large data set. This is a public data set of rideshare data from New York City. I'm going to load 100,000 lines of data and do an expensive computation to change every pickup string into a date time. It's the first time we're running this computation, so it'll take a minute to load the data. I'm decorating this function with stcache, since I don't want to do this computation every time. stcache kind of operates like a cell in a notebook, but it's really smart and will only rerun the computation if it notices the code or any of its inputs have changed. To illustrate how quick this is, we can now filter this data by hour. And let's change this heading to see which hour we filtered to. When I change the hour, notice how everything updates instantaneously. Now, let's throw up a histogram to see how this data is distributed over time. We're going to use a simple streamlet chart here, but you can use any major charting library you want, including Altair, Vega Lite, Matplotlib, Bokeh, and Plotly. Another fun thing that we can do is look at geographic data. Again, we're going to use a simple streamlet map command, but you can do really awesome things by adding in some DECGL code. Okay, so you can see that we're staying strictly in code and can quickly throw up visualizations, which is pretty powerful. But let's make this even more powerful by adding some simple layout and interaction. For example, we can hide the raw data behind a simple checkbox widget like this. Super easy. Now, to make this even more interactive, we'll add a dropdown to select the hour. Streamlit's unique data flow model means that a single line code change turns a variable into a widget. Pretty cool. An even better GUI in this case might be a slider. So those are just a few of the cool things you can do with Streamlit. We look forward to seeing what you can create. Take five. This better be good. This better be good. good.